So I saw an instant, interesting article today that I posted on Facebook talking about uh, Hoist Gracie, one of the guys that helped, um, you know, the dawn of the UFC and uh, especially for jiu-jitsu becoming big in American Brazilian jiu-jitsu particularly. Um, he was saying that like a lot of people walk into gyms and they expect to learn self-defense and nowadays most of the things they get taught for jiu-jitsu is, is sport. Um, I do think that is true. Um, I, I'll start with that. Um, but I do think that you have to understand the entire spectrum of martial arts that you're teaching. So there are moves that you learn in, um, even though you're learning a point style system when you go into a lot of martial arts schools, most of those moves still work in self-defense. And I think that it's the mind frame um, that you have when you're doing them in a situation that matters um, as well. But um, also understanding that if you're going to teach the totality of self-defense, that you can't take moves out of the curriculum and only do sports moves. So there's a lot of different things to talk about in there. And I, and I really want to speak to the five um, ways that we use martial arts mostly in my perspective. So you have martial arts, uh, number one, that people learn for um, just the basics as far as as, as far as self-defense or as far as practicing self-defense. So we have a, a move set that we use in class that I use in class. Um, that is less dangerous. It it helps us keep friends longer and ensures that they invite us to our birthday to their birthday parties when they have them. That we're not jerks and stuff like that um, when we do moves to them. So I might do a move a certain way as to have maximum effect while not injuring my partner. Number two, you have the um, you have sports competitions. So you do certain moves in sports competitions that have rules. Um, that take out a lot of the what we would call unsafe moves or moves that people don't care to learn that much so they hurt people while doing them um, they take out some of those moves so that the people can continue to be athletes for a long time so that's another aspect of martial arts the third part um, which is where we really start getting into what he is talking about is the self-defense and that and and i have self-defense as number three and number four the first part of self-defense is defending yourself against somebody that uh you know it could be a drunken uncle at, at a christmas party somebody that you're trying to control and trying to defend yourself from keep yourself safe but at, you're not trying to maim them or injure them permanently and that, like i said it could be a friend that's overly drunk that's just you know slapping you around and you just have to control them so that's one part of aspect of self-defense that we do need to learn in each class that we're taking. Um, and then you have the next side of self-defense is a life and death situation. You know, on the street, somebody's still in your wallet, you're in another country and they're trying to, you know, jump you or something like that, where you really have to defend yourself. Um, and, and in that case, you might have to maim or injure somebody um, permanently or, or for a long time. You got to put them down. Um, so that's another aspect of self-defense. And then the fifth aspect of self-defense, or you could say self-offense, is combat and, you know, military operations or law enforcement, uh, SWAT teams and stuff like that, where you have to um, sometimes initiate the combat um, or sometimes you're defending yourself from another initiator of the combat. And these are all different levels of self-defense that I teach, um, that I have taught for a long time. So not just sport. And I think every school, no matter what martial art you're doing, not just jujitsu, you have to teach the totality of martial arts. And so if I just do a random, uh, if I just pick a random move, if I do a hip toss for in class, I'm going to do a hip toss. I'm probably going to let you down lightly, not slam you so hard because I want to be your friend or keep you as a student. Um, if I'm doing a competition, I'll probably slam you a little bit harder, you know, um, because it's a competition and I'm trying to win and you're trying to win. If it's a self-defense situation, I might slam you hard and control you. I might put my, I'm going to put my knee on your ribs, um, control your face, you know, um, depending on if it's you or a group of people, control you in a way that I can have somebody call the authorities or that you stop hurting me or you stop hurting, you know, somebody that's my friend or my family member. For self-defense in life or death situation, when I teach a hip toss, we're controlling that arm instead of dropping my um, instead of putting my knee on your on your ribs and controlling it and controlling your face, I'm going to drop it on your ribs and break your ribs. It's a big difference. For combat, the same thing. It's a little bit, uh, you know, combat is the hip toss, break the ribs with the knee. 
you know, uh, control them with your weapon, your sidearm, your rifle, whatever else is going on, your knife. It's a big difference. And I think in jujitsu today, yes, you, you, you have fun and we, and we have fun at competitions, but you have to teach everything. And because you never know what people are going to need in their life. And they walk in, they want self-defense, they want fitness. Some people want to compete, but most of it is, uh, is having fun while learning self-defense. And we owe it to them um, not to shortchange them on the self-defense side because we never know what people are going to go through in their lives when they're going to really need to go past just the point system into the self-defense aspect. And that self-defense aspect is not just the physical, but also a mind frame. Uh, it's, it's a set of it's a way of thinking, um, of self-preservation, of preserving those that are around you that you love, all those different things together. And that has to be part of our curriculum. Since I've been out. Peace.